Hello, my virtual drama students. Welcome to your new unit. We are going to begin a unit on memorization because memorization is a key part of drama because you are having to memorize your scripts. Now, this is by far my worst part of being a drama student or being involved in a drama um, production. I can easily like, um, ad lib or improv or do a good performance off the cuff. But when you ask me to memorize something, especially a long passage, forget about it. So I really wanted to give you guys some skills to help you think about your memorization and some methodology to um, help you memorize something. So let's get the slideshow going here. Uh, not as good with this, these ones. View. Present. There we go. All right, so we're going to look at a couple memorization skills. There is something called whole part memorization. When you're using whole part memorization, the actor focuses on individual lines only after whole units of the play are firmly in the mind. First, the actor reads through the whole play several times. Next, they read through one act several times. Then they read the scenes that they are in several times. Finally, they begin memorizing individual lines. This is a methodology that definitely does not work for me, but it does for a lot of people. There is also another type of uh, memorization called part-whole memorization. In this memorization technique, the actor studies the script line by line until it is memorized. That is the least desirable method because it takes the longest amount of time. So here are a few tips for memorizing some of your lines. You can write them down. You can make cue cards. You can record yourself saying the lines and listen to them every time you get a chance. Don't forget to memorize the line that cues your line. If you memorize them in isolation, you won't know when to say the line. This is key in a back and forth dialogue. All right, so as part of this unit, you have a few activities you are going to do. First of all, you are going to play a memory game. The directions and information are attached in the assignment below. And um, here are all the different links you have here. You will also need a phone or maybe your iPad to time you. This is just done independently and you don't have to submit any results. But it's kind of interesting to see how well your memory, how good your memory is and how well you can memorize things. The next step is you are going to choose a five line poem or a section from our play Scenes, in a, scenes from a Quarantine. I have um, attached that if you would like to use that or pick a section from that. Once you have chosen that, you are going to complete some memorization stations. These are each based on a different type of learner, a visual learner, a kinesthetic learner, a mark it up methodology, or an auditory learner. There are three activities on most of the stations. You should complete at least two with your um, script or your poem selection. Next, you are going to watch a video. These has some great techniques for memorizing your lines and a great methodology that you can use tried and true even with our friend Shakespeare. So watch this video and attempt to create the attempt to use the technique that he introduces to memorize some of your lines. Finally, you are going to submit a video of you saying the lines without your reference. Remember, you only have to have five lines, and I don't want to see a script in the video. No cheating with cue cards or anything like that. All right, if you have any questions, please reach out, and I will put detailed instructions along with this assignment. Good luck!